Here's the best way to bleach your roots from an extremely dark color to nearly white, which makes the perfect base for any color to absolutely pop on top. It's my newest and best method that works in literally one round with the least damage possible, so I'm making this to update my last tutorial since this one is better and healthier for your natural texture or curl pattern. I call this the rubber band method, which I created to solve my personal biggest problem with bleaching my curly hair at home, and that was how long and tedious it is to part my hair into super thin sections while bleaching it to get everything even but quickly enough so the bleach doesn't overprocess. If you have super straight or easily combed hair, thankfully you can skip this step, but I promise you this made all the difference in mine being perfect in one round versus light enough after two rounds but more damaged. So to solve that problem, I do all the parting first so I'm not racing and losing to the clock every time. So I part my hair in half front to back and then create super thin long sections less than a centimeter wide and put a small rubber band elastic in the middle of that section to keep it together. I like to measure the length of my new growth and use that to figure out how much bleach I'll be needing because the most annoying thing is running out of bleach in the middle of doing your hair, but the second most annoying thing is when you activate too much and end up wasting your products and your money, so in this economy, I would suggest measuring. Buying a scale is so worth it, so you get the perfect ratio of ingredients for best results, so I'm using my favorite bleach, which lightens so well and also contains a bond builder, and for the first time, ever, I'm using a 20 volume developer, which is less strong than my usual 30, therefore less damaging, but will it get me all the way to blonde in one round? Let's find out. Now I'm adding in part one of my favorite affordable bond builder to protect my hair as much as possible and mixing everything up. And I have tried tons of bleaches and developers over the past decade, but this specific Schwarzkopf line is my absolute favorite, and the Ion Bond Builder is pretty much just affordable Olaplex. So for my length and type of hair in total, I used 2.4 ounces of bleach, 4.8 ounces of developer, and a quarter ounce of the Bond Builder. And everything I used in this video is linked and on my Amazon storefront in the collection called Bleaching Your Roots. You can paint the bleach on your hair with a brush, but I always use my fingers so I can actually feel what I'm doing much better and kind of massage the bleach in so I can make sure that every single strand is perfectly saturated. And you do have to wear gloves while using bleach or it will melt your fingers off. Also try your best to get right up to that line of new growth without overlapping onto your already bleached hair. It's best to do your roots on a regular basis, like every six to eight weeks or when your hair is like an inch or shorter because your roots bleach faster and lighter than the hair that's farther away from your head due to heat from your scalp. So this length of growth is my last chance to get it light enough with just 20 volume and before it would come out uneven or with banding. And I am so bad at doing things consistently, which is why I usually miss this sweet spot for doing my roots. But for the sake of healthy hair, it's definitely been worth it and my curl pattern has been absolutely thriving. You can do half of your head at a time if you're not able to get through everything quick enough before it starts developing for too long. Wash it, then do the other side so it comes out evenly, which I do if my roots get too long, but I was able to do all this in just one round, had my mans check the bag for mistakes, and while it processed, I used the Joico Moisture Recovery Treatment Balm to deeply moisturize the rest of my hair. When I saw it had finished processing, which is about 40 minutes later, I rinsed out the bleach thoroughly with no shampoo yet. You have to put step two of the Bond Builder in for 10 minutes. Then you can shampoo, condition, and dye on top of it. Here's how light it is after just one round, which was the perfect base for the color I did on top, which was a bright pink that I ombre faded into the red I already had, and I also have a full tutorial showing how I did that already posted. But hopefully this video was helpful for those of you who bleach or dye your hair and will help you keep your hair as healthy as possible.